Hello viewers, this is Manash welcoming you to the series, You the Oracle Expert, your one-stop shop to learn and practice Oracle Database Administration and Unix with hands-on experiments using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines. Build your knowledge base, confidence, and make your way to be an expert Oracle DBA. Hello viewers, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to fix an OEM13C agent that is not able to communicate with the OMS. Sometimes we encounter this issue when we see that the agent communication to the OMS is broken, the agent is out of sync or it's not able to upload data to the OMS. When you log into the agent server and do a PSEF grab EM agent, you will be able to see that the agent is still running. But you will see that the OMS complains about the agent being unreachable. Let's change directory to the agent home bin. Then do an emctl status agent command and see the status of the agent. We can see that the agent is running and it shows that it's uploading but actually it is not uploading anything. A couple of situations that lead to this kind of issues are when the file system where the agent is installed is 100% full and if we do a df-h, we'll see where in which file system the agent is installed. So this is u01 here, this is the agent home. And we see that there is clearly no file system issues and it has a lot of available space. One reason that causes this kind of issue is when the file system where the agent is installed is 100% full for a long period of time and the agent is not able to gather or upload new information to the OMS. Secondly. When there is a network issue and the agent is not able to communicate to the OMS for a long period of time, then also this kind of issue happen. Thirdly, a server level blackout that did not end gracefully can cause the agent and the OMS to be out of sync. And even if you resolve the underlying issue that has caused this situation, you will see that the agent sometimes is not able to establish the communication with the OMS. Even restarting the agent a couple of times will not help. I will provide three different solutions to resolve this agent issue. Solution one, this first solution works most of the time. First you need to see whether the agent is up and running, which we have already checked and found that the agent is up and running. Then stop the agent using emctl stop agent command. Once the agent is stopped, do a clear state agent emctl clear state agent then start the agent check the status of the agent one more time now we see that the agent is running and ready in this state we will upload some data from the agent to the OMS using emctl upload agent now we see that the upload operation completed successfully we'll check the status again and we'll compare the amount of xml data uploaded to see if there is any difference so we see that in the last status command the total megabytes of XML files uploaded was 0 0.07 and in the latest status it's 0 0.01. So there is some difference we can see which means the agent was able to upload data to the OMS. Now we'll go to the OEM console and refresh the agent page. We are in the OEM console now. Let's refresh the agent home page to see if the status has become green. Let's wait for a couple of seconds and yes, now the status is shown as green means the communication between the agent and the OMS has been established. But this is an ideal situation where the solution one worked, but it may not be the case always. And the situation may be worse where just uploading the agent may not help you. In that situation, we have to follow another solution, which I'm demonstrating here as solution two. So let's go back to the agent server. Let's first clear the screen. 
and in the second solution we have to first stop the agent using emctl stop agent once the agent is stopped we have to do a clear state again using emctl clear state agent and once the clear state is completed we have to secure the agent with the oms using emctl secure agent and the agent registration password you have to supply here which is in my case aznt 13c12345 you have seen that i supplied the wrong password and the agent registration has failed in this case you can always create a new password for the registration to do that go to oms console again go to setup security registration password and we can create a new password put the new password as say agent reg123 confirm the password agent reg123 registration password and persistent and one time there are two options persistent means it will be there for a longer period of time until you reset it or change to a different password and the one time option is to create a password which will be used only for one time and once that is used this will be removed so here we are creating a persistent password and also we are putting an expiry date say december 31st and we'll create the new persistent password for agent registration we'll go back to our server again and this time we will put the correct agent registration password that we just reset that is agent reg 123 and this time the agent registration has been successfully completed and the next step is to start the agent start agent you may see this message that agent has been started but not ready this is not an error message it simply means that the agent has been started but it still needs to complete a few things at its end to be 100% ready so you can give it like one or two minutes before you start any activity with the agent so we'll check the status of the agent again now we can see that the agent is running and ready we'll simply clear the screen and do a ping oms so emctl ping oms next we will do an emctl verify key verify key this is one word so verification has been successfully completed and next we will attempt to upload again so the upload operation has been completed successfully so in the cases where the first solution does not work the second solution works great but there are even worst case situation where these two solutions will fail and in that case we have to go for a third solution so the third solution is actually oms oriented where we have to go to the oem console in the oem console go to setup manage cloud control agents in the list of agents given select the one that is giving the trouble and click on block button here and put a reason like temporary and click ok and we can see that the uh, agent in question is blocked now let's go to the agent home page select target all targets 
and the agent in our context is this one click on that to go to the home page and you'll be able to see that the agent is currently blocked this message at the top then click on the agent menu go to resynchronization and it will ask you to unblock the agent after successful completion of the resynchronization operation so make sure that the checkbox is selected there and click continue and a job will be submitted by OEM for the resynchronization operation click on the link for the job and it will give you the job status and we can see that the status is running and the auto refresh here is off we'll put it to refresh every 15 seconds so that we get a frequent status update still running you can also check the detailed steps being performed by clicking on this small triangle there and ideally it takes like less than a minute depending on how many targets are configured with the agent and we can see that the job has been completed and the status is succeeded it means that the agent resynchronization operation has been successfully completed now we'll go back to the agent again it will take a few seconds to refresh this page to give us the latest status let's close it and refresh it manually and after a couple of refreshes you will be able to see that the agent status has been turned into green so in this kind of situations before you take a more drastic measure like reinstalling the agent this is how you can re-establish the agent to oms communication and bring the agent online or in sync with the oms so viewers i hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss an episode in this series for the oracle dbs or similar educational videos that i am uploading every week